everybody. I am Sharon from Vivid Days and I'm back to use some leftover resin that I've got from an ocean piece I'm working on. So the resin I'm going to be using is the Art Pro. It's a new one I'm working with which is 100ml part A to 60ml part B. So I'm going to have to work quick. I've got some left. What I am going to do is just add in some Colour Cottage Super Sparkle White to my resin. I just want it to sparkle and it's Christmas so why not? So I've just added a tiny little bit off screen and I'm going to be mixing that in. And then I'm going to come back and work with the Colour Me Happy Pigments. And we're going to attempt to make some bookmarks again. So um, with this I've just got to work quick but be careful because you don't need a lot in a bookmark before it's done. So I might even have enough left to work on another piece. So all I'm doing is adding a tiny little bit of clear. to my bookmark first for the glitter because that'll add to some nice features on the reverse side just giving it a nice little line hoping that's all in view for you and then I am going to add this to my little cup here I'm going to go with the dark first we're not going to need a lot so I'm just going to add a little bit into my cup and then no more than one drop of the dark which is the deep blue I want this to be fairly transparent that's why I'm only adding one drop I'll add one drop it's a beautiful pigment one little drop goes a long way UV resistance I'll put the link at the bottom just adding one and what I love about these is translucent I think you say but I just call them transparent beautiful you can see that that's heating up now <laughs> curing should I say so like I say time is of the essence Sharon speed but perfection that's what we're going for now I can add a little bit of heat but I don't want it to cure even quicker and that's my dilemma just beautiful and when you add that little bit of glitter in it just so reminds me of Christmas Join that in all the corners soon, but just trying to get as much out as possible. You probably can hear the panic in my voice. Work fast, Sharon, you don't want to waste this resin. All right, now I'm going to add in the same cup some more clear with that little bit of sparkling, and then I'm going to come back with the ocean blue. Just trying to gauge how much I used before and if that's going to be enough. And again, I'm just going to add one drop of the ocean blue. Because it's already got the blue pigment in as well, it's going to add some of that nice tones through as well. You might want to do it in crystal clear cups so that, that you've got a true colour of each one individually. But like I said, time is of the essence for me. Oh, look at that. Stunning. If I do say so myself. Monica Osborne is the creator of these. Now, she is an international resin artist as well so i'll put a link to her products and herself so check her out it's just some really nice abstract pieces and watching one of her lives recently as she was talking about that she just goes with whatever she's feeling at the moment but anyway monica's best to talk about monica so check out her channel if you've not checked it out already you might be inspired as i get inspired but also you might want to try these yummy pigments laying itself level but I'm mindful now around those holes I want to make sure the resin goes behind it 
and what I'll also do is drag a bit through so that you don't have such a defined line but I am going to come through with a tiny little bit of white just to give that suggestion of a wave this resin I'm working with as well the bubbles come to the top beautifully when I've poured it there is an odor so on my big piece I did wear a face mask I've just removed it just so I can do this little bit of talking in here but I do recommend well ventilated area a face mask and always wear gloves but super impressed with it so far so I'm curious to know if they're gonna dry beautifully for bookmarks as well I've been using a different one of their products for silicone molds as well and they cure crystal clear as well but again there is a slight odor but so far I'm enjoying exploring their resin these are definitely an homage to Christmas. All that sparkle and those pigments. Oh. With the book marks, you've just got to be careful not to get any over the edge. You want a nice smooth edge, domed edge, where possible. And you want to make sure it's on a level surface so you've got very even bookmarks. Now I have a little toothpicky thing. Toothpicky thing. What kind of English is that? I have a little wooden toothpick where I can just drag it around without uh, dinting my resin to make sure I have got it everywhere. It's almost like a uh, winter's night sky. But I feel I am more than likely just using it in the corner there. So just with my round bed now, just going to force it in and then... There's no air bubbles in here. I will give it a slight going over just to make sure. I'm just making sure there's no obvious bubbles at the edges. Making sure it is everywhere. And I'm just gonna drag my blue through a little bit and my green so there's a nice blended edge and not such a harsh division. Look at me using a posh word. Division? Oh, what a beautiful combination. All right, very quickly, because it's just about dried. Um, I am going to use a clean cup for this one. So I'm just walking away to get that. Then I've got to wipe all these out and start my next project. Only a tiny little bit for the white Sharon, don't go over. And I'm actually using the white from Colour Me Happy. Just going to go in with one drop. Now two drops. So beautiful, such a great gift idea. So I'm going to add a little bit of a, a white here. Now I'm going to add an extra dot to that. Just need it a bit more vibrant for me. And then I'll come in with a straw and blow this a little bit. Now, please, please, please. Do not use a straw for resin if you have asthma or you have any lungs problems. And do not inhale near your resin. Inhale away and blow. Uh, but it will give you a nice contrast. Or more, I want to say delicate, but I don't mean delicate, but a more controlled way of applying air to a certain area when you're working with something as small as this. They actually look quite pretty by themselves now. We should have just left them. Maybe next time. But I'll let you decide, with or without. I come in threes, eh? Sets of three. Just want a little bit more there. I'll curve them around a little bit. bubbles out with my 
hollow torch. That sparkle from the colour cottage pigments is just oh mixing with these beautiful pigments here. Alright. Restraint, Sharon, restraint. And I've got a mould that I'm just gonna apply the leftover to because I hate wasting any resin. The mould is also from a resin pro so you'll be able to find a link for that in there. And that's where I used with the other resin that is meant to be used for mould, but I just want to see how this one reacts in moulds as well. You probably can't see me off camera, I'm just filling this up here. Okay, I've got as much out of that as I can. It's almost at the top, not quite. What if I use? what's left of this at the bottom and see if it seeps down and creates a nice pattern. Just be creative, why not? Sometimes your happy little accidents from your leftovers create some of the nicest pieces. Sharon's hot tip for you. Doing some beautiful natural effects in there as it is added to the night sky feel in my opinion any or the aura boreana yeah definitely only a straw need because i might keep it as it is I finish them off so they make sense to me. They might not need to make sense to you, but to me they do. So they're not even waves now and it's not even an ocean. It is just winter night sky Christmas just had a little bit more white I'm enjoying what it's doing naturally It is more looking like the uh, Northern Lights. Probably tripping out. All right, Sharon. Let them be, cover them up. And let's come back how they go when they're cured. Hi everybody. Welcome back to Sharon for Vivid Days. We have a few, few guests in our little space today. We've got Hades and Zeus. You can hear him flapping his uh, tail under the table. Anyway, 
we are in to review and have a look at some of these cured molds that we've been using these are the three bookmarks that i've created and they're in the mold and they are just stunning to look at you might not be able to see that sparkle but they definitely do remind me of like the aura boreana and the northern lights and the white that i've added it's gone very delicate but it's created a really nice effect so i'm going to demold these and we're going to have a little look wow so just checking they are straight and they are edges just need a little tidy up there but look at that transparency and when we come to the edge the white has come down there but look at that sparkle from just putting that clear on the bottom i think they're quite magical number one is good they come out so beautifully from the moulds. And again, look at that shimmer. Just a little edge there where it's just gone slightly over. They are quite flimsy still. So they probably still need another day to fully cure hard. But the side's pretty magical too. And the back, look at that glitter. And the whites drop down, add into a nice creation. Last but not least. All flat, which is nice. And again, the sparkle in there is just divine. Still needs to cure 100% look, still a bit pliable but that will cure over the next 24 hours even harder. Um, so I think they are winner winner chicken dinners. Those colours together are beautiful and that white shimmer um, and glitter just coming through that I think just adds a nice little character to it. So I'm going to try and bring it in a bit closer so I can show you some of those effects. I'm not too sure if you're going to see better from this angle, but we'll do a quick flyover. But remember, if you are inspired by my channel, my art or my videos, remember, thumbs up, subscribe, share, comments are always welcome. Remember to come back and see me and have the most amative creative day. I just thought I'd get there in early in case I forget, but from this angle, you can definitely see the majesticness of that why and I definitely am taken to outer space.